Okay, welcome to part two of the Attic Imaging Tutorial. In this part, I'm going to describe how to use a pinhole lens uh, to get some images with the camera. The point of doing this is to get used to using the camera inside uh, without needing to use it with a telescope. Uh, bear with us on this one. The, the editing of actually making the pinhole lens may not be of the highest quality, but hopefully it's all good information. Thank you. Okay, so that should have installed everything we need in order to use our camera with the computer. Uh, however, there's one thing that is obviously missing from this camera uh, in order to take a picture. And that is a lens. So if we take this piece off here, what we can see, if you look straight down the barrel, is actually the CCD sensor itself. So that's collecting all the light that's, that's being uh, received on that sensor. But because there's no lens there, it's not focused and it won't produce an image. So what I'm going to talk you through now is uh, a couple of options that you've got to, uh, to take an image. The first thing we're going to look at is if making a pinhole lens. Uh, pinhole lenses, obviously, if you heard them before, it's especially a small hole. And because it's just a very small hole, uh, it tends to reject a, a roughly in focus image onto whatever's behind it. In this case, it'll be the CCD itself. Okay, so what I'm going to use to make this panel lens is, is the one and a quarter inch eyepiece adapter that comes with the camera. And I'm going to use a piece of tin foil. Now, I call it tin foil. You might call it aluminium foil. You might call it aluminum foil. You might call it baking foil. Uh, anyway, I'm sure amongst that list of things, you'll recognize this stuff. Okay, so what we can do with this is make a very small hole in it and then we can wrap it around the front of the eyepiece. So I think what I'm going to do first off is just to actually wrap this around straight off and I've probably got a bit too much in the front there. So I've taken the tin foil, putting that over the eyepiece itself. There we go, that's what we've got now. Obviously that's uh, is now effectively a lens cap. So what we need is a hole. Now what I need to find is a pin. Go. So this is a, a little drawing board pin. Uh, it's, it's not particularly sharp, particularly, uh, particularly thin. The pinholes we're really looking for to create a nice pinhole lens is going to be something around uh, less than half a millimetre, between half a millimetre and uh, a tenth of a millimetre. So if I was to push this all the way through, this would just be way too big, it would end up about one millimetre. So what I need is just the very tip to go through the tin foil. What I'm going to do is to use uh, something fairly hard to press down on this one. So this is a drinks coaster, uh, my drinks now on the table. And I'm going to use this, you've got to get roughly in the middle, so pop it roughly in the middle, and then just go gently and just try and pop a little hole in there. Okay, uh, you can't see if you've got it or not by holding it up to some light, and uh, if it's, if it's a hole, you can't see a hole through it. I can see a hole through that one, that's nice. What I'm just going to do now is just, uh, just press down on the middle bit. These pinhole lenses work best if they're circular, uh, and if the edges themselves are straight. So if we end up pushing the uh, tinfoil out at the end, it won't be quite as nice. Don't expect too much from a pinhole lens because it will be a quite blurry out of focus image, but it will let us get, get the camera running and seeing something from it. Okay, so we have the pinhole lens. We have the eyepiece, so we can put that on the top of that. We have a Fully working pinhole lens, or let's, let's hope we have. Okay, that brings us to the end of part two of the tutorial uh, describing how to make the pinhole lens. In part three, we'll use the pinhole lens uh, and the Attic software to get used to using the basic functions of the software. So, you go. Look forward to seeing you again in part three.